All right, guys, Shotty T here. Once again, we're at day four versus the AKA the favorite day of the week. So I figured this would be a good chance to also talk about one other thing. Had a lot of stuff happen in the game today. So uh, we have this thing called professional hall. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, find a spot to put this i'll probably do some reshuffling redecoration i'm going to put it right here for now but i'll probably move it somewhere else later so um so basically what this does here and let me see if this is a thing that upgrades multiple levels no okay so let's see so basically you could choose to be an engineer or a war leader so we're gonna walk through this together so welcome to professional hall here you can create personalized development plan engineer war leader and diplomat so that's unlocked currently in the game each has its strength aiding with expanding territories click the corresponding tab to view each characteristic so all right your determined your decision will determine your profession create development plan please choose carefully all right so this right here engineers are creative and excel and using advanced technology to speed up construction and provide support in combat they can improve production methods to increase resource efficiency and provide buffs to allies so i'm guessing this is kind of like a a mini first lady type of ordeal um to allies and then the war leader is uh, war leaders are the soul of the army both leaders and strategists they maximize troop potential and enhance combat attack effectiveness they also use clever tactics to increase damage suffered by enemy this will probably be the one i'm gonna choose anyway because i'm not even the first lady in our regular server i'm just not on the game consistent enough and it might not even be a first lady type of deal but that's the way i interpret it so I'm gonna choose that profession. And just out of curiosity, that's unlocked, so we can't see what that does. Cause I could, a diplomat might be an interesting thing, but we're gonna choose that for profession. And what this does here, uh, during the season, killing monsters, capturing cities, and upgrading season buildings can earn professional experience points, level up profession, grant skill points. So. So we'll so the this starts in eleven days, so so that's what we're gonna be doing there. I got some buildings under construction that'll be done before then, but hopefully by the time yeah so by the time the HQ finishes, which will be next week, I'll start on another building hopefully to be done by the time that starts to see if that exponentially increase my XP level. But on to the main thing. So we have the tickets, got 239 tickets this time, and it looks like the same champs are in the pool this time as well. So I'm guessing that's just how it's gonna be, um, where you got half of the champs in the pool and half you have to kind of buy if you really want them, um, unfortunately. So, but like I said, these are still a solid group of champs. You can still build a solid squad just off of these alone and probably one or two purples, which is fine. But here we go. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get through these. I always wanna open these first before you use your shard, just in case of duplicates once again. But of course, I think the only, cause I still need to get Marshall to five stars as well as, actually I think I got Marshall to five stars. Any any duplicates I get of Kimberly is basically gonna I'm getting a lot of 10s, which is pretty good. Seems like every roll I'm getting a 10. Yep. Every roll I'm getting a 10. Did they enhance this uh, roll? Okay, finally. It was like I had a little run there where almost every single roll I got a 10. And we're back to that streak again. We got a couple of Teslas there. Elsa and Kane. Three singles, but still getting a lot of shards per roll. I got an epic gear chest that's good for my crafting. I got Carly there, Violet, and let's see if we can get one more. Cool, we got Murphy that time. So we got a pretty good haul there. 
think I got an I think I can get a ticket somewhere. I'll earn a ticket somewhere, probably from these daily missions. Let's see. Uh can I get there? Not quite. I mean I'll I'll probably earn enough to do another ticket at some point. Let's see if I don't know if any tickets are earned in these boxes. Let's see. Let's see if I can get another ticket somewhere. That's fine. We're not gonna sweat it, but we um yeah, so this so far this week we are up three to nothing. But this alliance is really fighting hard. I mean if you look at the weekly points ranking they have one they have a couple of guys in the top ten like this this past day they had like half of the people in the top ten so they're they're fighting hard and i'm I'm only in twenty first place but after today I'm gonna probably crack the top ten because usually this is my biggest scoring day of the week so and of course enemy buster but I will be out of town so I probably won't be fighting as much on enemy buster. But mobilization is also a, a double-digit million day for me, so I'll likely end up being top three, top five uh, before this is all said and done. I ended up being number one last week, but looks like I got a quite a bit of a challenge to do do that again this week. But it's all good. It's about the team, all right. So, and like I said, our this opponent we faced before when I was in my previous alliance, so. But they're fighting hard. I give them props. Uh, me and the leader, we did speak to each other. So I'm not sure if we're going to have any friendly deals on us Buster Day because, after all, it's all about getting those boxes right. But anyway, guys, that is the update. So curious to see if you're going to be an engineer or if you're going to be uh, the war master. So let me know in the comment section. And if you already got this in your server, let us know how that goes i know some servers are more advanced than others all right guys i'm gonna probably post this tomorrow so but you guys enjoy the rest of your day